Welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. Today's repair is a 2007 Ford F-150. Customer states that the gear shift assembly isn't working, so let's check it out. So there's no resistance. You know, usually the gear shift is, has a notch or selections in it. It's so nothing's working on this. We took the steering column apart. We can see that the cables still attach to the, the steering column. So let's check underneath the hood and see if we can maybe see if the shift cable is broken. So after further inspection, the gear shift cable is sitting on the exhaust. Um, not sure why. I know the transmission has been out of this a few times, but uh, you can see, as you can see, the gear shift cable is melted and broken. So we're going to replace this and figure out why it's sitting on the exhaust. So while we're underneath the vehicle, we're going to disconnect the cable from the gear shift selector and the center of this square tab. You can use a pick. You can slide it up. Then we'll undo it from this other bracket. There's two tabs on the side. We'll just let that hang there. So there's a plastic cover on the top here that's not that's just snapped into place. Um, you can lower the steering wheel and steering column all the way down, and you can kind of pry that up. And then we can get access to um, the other end of the gear shift cable right there. Let's we'll see if we can't pry off the other end of the cable. All right, now we got to go underneath the steering column. So the gear shift cable goes through the firewall near the footwell. There's a grommet. We'll see if we can't pop up there. Let's just manage to work the cable up that way. Last thing to get undone is that piece in this bracket up in the steering column. I'm crawled underneath the dash here and see if we can't get that out. So we got our new cable. Uh, there's nothing to swap over. Comes with new grommets and basically comes with everything you need. We're going to fish this back through the firewall first and then we'll run it up to the steering column. We can shove the grommet all the way through and then we can pull it back. And it you hear it kind of pop into place. So getting that by getting the cable back into that bracket is a little bit harder. Uh, so we're going to take off the lower kick panel, lower knee panel. Uh, these are there's two seven millimeter screws. There's two metal tabs pressed into the metal bracket. To remove the metal bracket, there's four eight millimeter screws. So we got it back into the bracket and then we went ahead and just put it, the put the cable in back on to the to the ball joint or to the pivot point. We'll put our plastic cover back on. There's a plastic holder right there. You can put, put the cable back in and then we'll put our carpet back together and we'll wrap up the inside. So when we ran this through the firewall, we made sure we went on the right side of the exhaust. Now we're gonna have to just feed this back through. 
I did say there was nothing to swap over, but there is. There's these, this white plastic clip that goes here. And we can put that back in the bracket. So you can go ahead and, and move the gear shift position to help line up with the gear shift cable. It should be in park. And we'll go ahead and snap it in place. And this is the part where your gear shift cable can be adjusted if need to. It shouldn't need a whole, shouldn't need a whole lot. We'll lock it in place. So what we decided to do, because I think there's a bracket missing. Um, so I've got metal zip ties that I'm going to work around the heat shield. And there's an eyelet. There's... So it keeps the, the cable off of the exhaust. So during this process, that, that red hoop right there is, is for the gear shift indicator. It isn't moving, so during, so keep an eye on that as you're doing this process. You, that can easily be knocked off. And we're just going to, I know it's hard to see, but there's a, a little arm sticking out down there in that hole. We'll go ahead and put our rest of our steering column back together. And we'll see if it works. Yeah, so it starts and we have our gears. All right, well, that's gonna wrap up the F-150. The gear shift feels normal. It goes into park. You can start the vehicle and it goes into all the other gears it needs. Now, this isn't to be confused with the, uh, with the uh, the gear shift indicator those have their own separate issues of the cables breaking uh, and also issues with the instrument cluster this is between the gear shift handle and the transmission so um, the part on this costs about $65 from the dealership which is pretty reasonable uh, aftermarket I didn't look up any but um, and labor it took us about about an hour to do this so uh, I couldn't find the exact labor guide so I would probably say labor between an hour hour and a half but anyway, that's going to wrap this up. Hopefully, we're a thumbs up for you. May not have all your answers. Hopefully, you had some. That being said, I'll see you on the next one. This part slides into a bracket. And there's a tab right there to release. And then you can just work it the way.